It is a heavyweight collision between Henry Cejudo and... A six-time UFC bonus winner and the UFC bantamweight champion once again. Here is the no-nonsense TJ Dillashaw. For so much of his career, he has fought only elite competition. And at the end of the night, more often than not, it's this man who has had his hand raised, the bantamweight champ, TJ Killashaw, Thrillashaw, TJ Dillashaw. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch and corner inside the octagon, and he's always in a position where he can strike and then get away from his opponent's counters. So here he is, folks, the 2008 Olympic gold medalist in freestyle wrestling, Henry Cejudo, challenged Demetrius Johnson for the UFC Flyweight Championship. When he has tried to take down an opponent in the UFC, he's been able to do so. That includes Mighty Mouse. We really, though, have seen a boxing-heavy attack in the UFC. Outstanding hand speed on the Phoenix, Arizona native, Henry Cejudo. This guy has lightning fast hand speed. His combinations come swiftly and from all angles. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Cejudo is 30, Dillashaw is 31. He is two inches taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Yamasaki, third man in the octagon for this one. Well, he misses with the left punch here. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice shot. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Cejudo gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Just out of range with the big right hand. Orthodox for much of the fight. He's going southbound here, Joe. Oh, tags him with that money left again. Leg kick lands flush for Dillashaw. Just misses. That one hurt. Saludo going for the takedown here, but he misses. Checks that leg kick. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. First takedown attempt is there. Lands the right hand. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Excellent movement here on the ground. He lands a huge elbow to the head. Yeah. 
He's moved back into side control once more. Trying to mount, he's got it, full mount. Good shot to the head. He postures into place. He hip escapes, he's out of the full mount. Into side control again. He's got to move, he's in the mount of crucifix now. 45 seconds to go here in round one. He's trying to go under the chin here. Can he get it? That choke is locked up. He might get a finish here. This choke is getting very tight. He might have to tap any second now. Oh, this fight's over. This fight's over. Round was almost over, but he sunk in the submission and got the victory. Yeah, you've got to admire the focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. Let's see it one more time. Got the arm in deep under the neck, locked in tight and it's over before they even get a chance to tap. Let's see it one more time. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. All right, here now Bruce Buffer with the official the decision. Mario Yamasaki's call to stop for this contest at four minutes, 52 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Henry the Messenger Tahuna! So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I gotta mute those naysayers. And they're not gonna keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight. He gets the submission. And now all that's left is to celebrate with his coaches and trainers.